So here's a short demo of using the Marbleus. First of all we insert the cell, I move my avatar around the cell, and now I'm going to delete some of the segments of the track which form the track the marble's going to go down. First of all I delete the last straight level and then the next last straight level. And here's an example of inserting a new type of segment for the track. So I've added another bump and I'm going to edit the bump. So I'll change the position of the bump, the height of it, and there you see it change. And if I click on OK, it then uh, transfers that change to all the other users who are logged in. So you all get to see the same thing. I'll now rotate my avatar so I get to see a better view of the track. And there's the ball, the marble at the top of the track, ready to go. So we use the uh, HUD display to control the running of the simulation of the marble. I'll just move my avatar into a better position and um, that's about there and then I'll click on the run button and we'll start the simulation. You'll hear the marble go down the track and it continues along the track and eventually I guess if it has enough momentum it will fall off. No it does, falling off into oblivion. So I'll stop the simulation and I get to see a timeline of what I've just recorded, which is the movement of the marble along the track, the actual simulation. I'll just change my avatar there so I get to see a better view of what's going on. There's the marble, ready to fall down the track, and here's a recording of how the marble went down the track. So we can take it forward and back, and I'll just stop it somewhere in the middle of the loop, and move a little closer to take a look at where the marble was. And here we can see the marble has actually left the track. So we're running the simulation at 60 hertz, 60 frames a second, and um, if I move back we can see the marble is actually suspended in mid-air there. It's left the track as the simulation ran. Now the whole idea about Marbleus was that we're going to use this uh, really as a way of teaching Newtonian physics. So one of the things we want to be able to do is look to see what was going on with the marble at these different time frames. So we'll stop it there and click on the marble and we get to see some very primitive information that we can record about the marble from the physics engine. And that is simply things like position and velocity and time. If I click on that label I get to see more information that I can derive from that including acceleration, energy, force, given some kind of mass for the marble. So if I get a little closer we can see some more details of that. If I was to click on it again, you'd actually get to see what the formula were that, um, from which we derived this, this data. But we can see things there about potential energy, total energy, force, momentum, acceleration and so on. So I'm going to move my avatar back and then uh, have a little look a bit f earlier in the timeline, just before the ball enters the loop. You can see it's also left the track there because it's bouncing along. I can click on it and see the information again there for the potential energy which is much lower than the kinetic energy which is 174 joules and the kinetic potential energy was 76 joules. I'll just move the heads up display and move a little further along and see the ball, the marble as it leaves the loop and again click on it get to see some of the data about it and we can see the potential energy there is 3 joules, but the kinetic energy has dropped from 174 joules to 40 joules. So the whole process of having to go around the loop has knocked an awful lot of energy out of the marble. 